Welcome, welcome. Ziggy1x here with another near reincarnation video. Quick follow up to my last video because I made a bad mistake, even though I still got the correct numbers. So the information I gave was bad. The, <laughs> the things that I said were bad, or a few of the things that I said were bad, and the information that I showed was good. So let's go ahead and go through this real quickly. Uh, the three different types of damage that I calculated, crit damage, the boon, and the bigger. Okay. These damage types are calculated separately. I was actually calculating them in my head for some reason as the same, along the same line, the same metric. There's also one other piece of information here. Let's just go back over to my loadouts and take a look at my first team. Now, you remember that I had my first team with 250% crit damage. This is actually not a 50% or a 49% crit damage increase. This is actually a 25% increase. And it's obvious to anyone looking at this now, or maybe anyone who looked at it before, but I want to thank user Rayon, who pointed this out to me, uh, player Rayon, who just has a better head for this stuff than I do. I, I've, got the, I've got the personality to put it on a video, but he has the head, so I'm just gonna start listening to him for whatever he says. Anyways, he said it's actually only a 25% increase because you've already got the 200% crit damage before that, so it's only 25% on top of that. And since the ground, the base level for all of my experiments was at 200% crit damage, he's absolutely correct. My 250 is actually only a 25% increase. So that makes the crit damage stacking it far inferior to everything else. The other thing that he pointed out is that the, uh, let's look at this Gale real quickly. And this is why this character did so much more damage than the others. Because she's stacking three different damage types, she's stack, stacking the crit damage, so she's doing more because of that. And then she's stacking her own Bold Vigor plus the Bold Vigor of the Saryu staff. That Saryu staff, by the way, is an absolute monster. I think that Rayon said that that staff alone was giving a yep a 90% damage increase because it's a 1.3 times a 1.3. And so that's 30% more times 30% more, 90% damage. That single staff alone, again, this the anniversary banner should be coming up pretty soon. If you can pull, grab Saryu. If not for anything but that staff, and then slap that staff on any character you have, because even if they don't get the Lucid Boon benefit, they get a 30% increase from the Bold Vigor. So this is a great weapon, and uh, it's, it's a weapon that I have ignored. Saryu is a character that I've ignored. But these are things that maybe this video was more helpful for me than it was for a lot of other people. I don't know, probably was in a lot of ways. There's probably, most of y'all already knew this and I'm just sitting here figuring this out for the first time after playing for a year. So, hey, whatever. Anyways, I looked disheveled. I rolled out of bed and went downstairs in my hotel, grabbed a few things and then looked at my comments and went, oh crap, I gotta correct this right now. So I'm not gonna go any further with this video. I'm gonna conclude with this though. I'm gonna say that if you are stacking damage, the most effective, efficient way to stack damage is from multiple sources. So don't dive too far into crit damage. Don't dive far into your boon, unless you can easily grab those bonuses. And don't dive too far into your caged vigor. I didn't even talk, or caged or bold vigor, I didn't even talk about pursuit, and another comment asked if I could go into a video on that. I'm not going to. Let's just say that pursuit is really powerful. It stacks in much the same way as a separate source of damage. and it is, in my opinion, more reliable than the bold or the caged vigors because all it requires is a chain. So whatever the description is, it says on a chain of two or more, three or more, or whatever it is, it starts kicking in and doing that extra 16% damage, 18% damage, 20% damage, whatever it is. That's just another flat damage modifier on your character that's being multiplied separately from everything else. That's the important thing to take away from this. Every source of damage depending on where it's coming from, is multiplied applied independently, but with everything else. So if you can stack all of those things, if you can stack Lucid Boon, Crit Damage, uh, Bold Vigor, and Pursuit on a single character, they are going to be melting things. They're gonna be annihilating things. That's all I've got. Look for damage from different sources, try and get as much of it from each source without sacrificing too much from the other, and you will, <clears throat> 
take those characters. If you've just been building for crit up to this point and kind of ignoring some of this other stuff, or if you've just been building for the elemental boost or anything else, take all of these damage sources as much as you can, smack them into a character, take them side by side and look at what they do. Maybe even do what I did, make an experiment, equal out their attack with the other character that you have in the same party, we'll say. And just look side by side at how much more damage, and it's gonna be more than double probably. If, you if you're able to successfully take all of those elements and you were building something hard for crit or one of the others, and then you take another where you just nice and evenly spread it out, take those two, stick them side by side in a group, watch what they do. I guarantee you the character that has a nice even distribution of all the different damage types or has more of a distribution is gonna be doing way more damage, double, maybe more. So that's all I've got for today. Peace out, I hope everybody has a great day. I will continue making videos and hopefully I will continue making videos with good information instead of the absolutely bad information I gave in my last one. I'm still gonna keep it up, it's still a good video, but take that one and take it with this one and know that because that last team with the Gale had multiple different damage types in it, that's why it was doing so much more damage, not just because it had that extra 10% on the Bold Vigor. All right, peace out y'all, bye. Prepared to beg for your life. More of you come to die? Move.